Hi, I'm Chad Allen from Book Proposal Academy. Welcome to this video series. I'm excited to bring it to you. In this video, we're going to talk about how to come up with a great book concept. In the next video, I'm going to talk about why any nonfiction writer should think about writing a book proposal and how to do it. In the third video, I'm going to talk about this whole tug of war between self-publishing and traditional publishing. How do you decide which one to pursue? And in the fourth video, I'm going to tell you all about Book Proposal Academy. But first, a little about me. My name again is Chad Allen. I've worked in traditional publishing for over 16 years. I've worked with hundreds of authors, some of them best-selling authors. I've reviewed thousands of book proposals. I currently serve as editorial director for a major trade book publisher. The division I head up publishes over 70 books a year. So I feel really confident about the material that I'm going to share with you. So let's dive in. How do you come up with a great book concept? Well, first you have to understand the context of publishing. I want to show you a formula that really works when it comes to traditional publishing. Now, some people will tell you that there's no such thing as a, as a formula for success in publishing. But these three things on the top of this board are at least what publishers are looking for. They're looking for a great concept, a big platform, and amazing writing. And as often as not, those three things equal publishing success, and they often equal a book contract as well, because it's when you have these three things that the needs of an author and the needs of a publisher align. So that's what, that's what we're looking at. Well, let's talk about each one of these and what they are. What is a great concept? A great concept is a concept that has a defined purpose, that has an actual audience of readers, and that is in some way distinctive. Those three things are what make a great concept. And in a minute, I'm going to walk you through a process for developing a great concept. The next one is big platform. What is a big platform? You know, you may have heard this term platform. Platform is essentially the author's own ability to bring exposure to his or her work using social media or an email list or other channels of influence. That's what goes into a platform. And then when it comes to this last element, amazing writing. Well, what, what is amazing writing? We all know amazing writing when we read it because we don't want to stop reading it. We've all had that experience of finishing a book and kind of feeling let down because we wish we could keep reading. So these are the three things that a publisher looks for. So when you think about coming up with a great book concept, it's important to have these three things in mind. Because if you have a lousy book concept and you pair it with a big platform, it's just kind of a failure situation where you know, you're leveraging a big platform for a concept that's going to sink without a ripple. And if you have a lousy concept and you pair that with great writing, well, that's just kind of silly. There's the time and energy element. Writing a book takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of energy. Are you going to want to invest all that time and energy for a concept that doesn't really have an audience? No, that's just wasteful. So that's why coming up with a great book concept is really, really important. So how do you do it? If you look below this video, there's an infographic. You can click on the link and get to an infographic that will serve as a great summary for what I'm going to go through. Uh, but you can just listen along or, or follow that infographic, whichever seems best to you. But it's essentially a two-step process of finding the need and then brainstorming a title. The first step is finding a need. Another way to think about this is isolating the buying impulse. And the first thing to keep in mind when it comes to finding the need is that this isn't about the need you think they have. This is about the need they think they have. That's the need that you want to isolate. So think to yourself, what is the need that I want my book to address? What's the, what's the itch that I want my book to scratch? What's the pain that I want my book to relieve? Think about those questions and then go to your friends and ask them, would you buy a book on this topic? And if they say no, ask them, well, what would you buy a book on? And just keep working that until you have a really good sense of the need that your book is going to address. Then you want to brainstorm a title. Why do you want to brainstorm a title at the very beginning of the process? Well, keep in mind that this is going to be a working title. But the reason you want to brainstorm a title is because titles are concept labels. When I use that word concept, it's kind of a big amorphous idea. Titles make concepts concrete. So the process of brainstorming a title is really the process of playing with different concepts. So get by yourself, take 20, 30 minutes, and brainstorm titles and subtitles. And you may want to do that again after a few days and come up with a really good list of titles and subtitles. 
Then ask your friends to come over and do a brainstorming party. You know, buy pizza or something. Just get together, tell them about your book idea, and ask them to brainstorm titles and subtitles. Eventually, you're going to have a really long list of possible titles and subtitles. Then you want to narrow that list down to three or four of the best titles and subtitles. That's when it's time to pull your friends. You can use a free survey service like SurveyMonkey or Poll Daddy, or you can just go to your Facebook tribe and list four different titles and subtitles and ask them, which of these would you be most likely to purchase? And that's how you arrive at the very best title. Sometimes one of those titles will come to the surface. Sometimes it'll be two titles that come to the surface as the best titles. If you end up with a deadlock between two different possibilities, just go with your gut. Take the one that you're most comfortable with. So I hope that process is helpful to you. It's helped a lot of people come to a very strong book concept. And then all you have to do is write the book. How do you do that? Well, in the next video, I'm going to talk about why you should think about writing a book proposal and how to do it. I firmly believe the best way to start writing a book is to start with a book proposal. You know, as I've worked with hundreds of authors, every one of them started where perhaps you are right now. You have some thoughts. You have some ideas about the book you'd like to write. Would you share some of those thoughts with me? Tell me what sort of ideas you have when it comes to writing a book. Just look below this video and you'll see a bunch of comments. Write in what kind of book you're thinking about, and I'll interact with you and share with you my own thoughts about your book ideas. Be sure to hit that Facebook like button. Everybody likes to be liked. And I look forward to talking with you in the second video about how to write a book proposal. Thanks very much.